Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul's Tainting. My name is Beth. And we are here with my L crate box. Okay. Ta-da! She's gonna help me unbox it. So first we're gonna open it. This is my mama. Okay. Yes, I'm her mama. And we just got done with the let's see. Mommy did whoop, the computer's going all over the place. Sorry. Mommy did the um cross country meet with my kids today. And Elena helped my parents get stuff together, and then they fed us. She helped make some cookies and stuff. Yeah. So, and that was all. Did you like meeting my kids? Yes. Yes. Are you excited? Yeah. All right. There's what it looks like on opening. So, here's the card. It's got constellations and stuff on it. Okay. What's the first thing? What is that? Son of Poseidon, tea bath salts. Eucalyptus tea bath salts. Wait. Oh, that smells good. Smell that. I wish we had a bathtub. Maybe, yeah, since yeah. you know Mommy's looking at houses over by my yeah. school, maybe one of them will have a bathtub. What do you think? Yeah. All right, what is this? Oh, this is a book bow stop. This is um, really nice. It's padded. It has this really cool yeah. mythical creatures, um, mermaids and unicorns and birds. <laughs> and that is... Uh, to put, I like it. It's to put your books in. It's nice and padded so they're safe when you throw them in a bag. All right, what's the next thing? Oh, cool. It's a little coin purse. Coin purse? Is it okay if I keep that? No, you're not going to keep that. It's got little dragons on it. Can oh. you see that? And it's got like a plastic lining. That's really nice. Is it okay? There you go. Oh, there's Hagrid. A sticker with Hagrid and Buckbeak. Look at that. That is the cutest sticker I think I've ever seen in my life. What are you doing? Oh, we don't want to see the book just yet. Is there anything else? Oh, there's a I Am the Blood of the Dragon. Ooh, it's uh, Daenerys Targaryen wooden. It's a really oh. thin wooden bookmark. That is amazing. And... Oh, and here's the pin. It's got a griffin. I don't know if you can see it. The sun's kind of not my friend right now, but she wanted to do the video right now, so we're doing it right now. There's the pin. Hold on. Stop that. Stop that nonsense. Hold your malarkey. No. Leave all of the little wormies in the little box. Okay. So, now they are called wormies. Stop arguing with me. Now let's do the book. Let's just do the book. It's called, ooh, Before She Ignites. I think I have heard, I think I've heard about this. It's the first in like a trilogy, I think. And basically, she's supposed to be something and she doesn't feel like she's that. I don't know. I shouldn't have told the truth, I but I did. Out, but right now this is a gorgeous cover. Um, you are goofy. Don't put plastic on your head. I'm just going to read you the inside, so you shush so I can read them the inside. Before, Mara McNova is a hope bearer. Since the day she was born, she's been told she was special, important, perfect. She's known across the fallen isles, not just for her beauty, but for the peace treaty named after her, an agreement that united the seven islands against their enemies in the mainland. But Mira never felt perfect. She counts compulsively. She struggles with crippling anxiety, and she's far too interested in dragons for a girl of her station. Sounds pretty familiar to me. I think maybe I can get behind this main character. Then Mira discovers an explosive secret that challenges everything she and the treaty stand for. Betrayed by the very people she has spent her life serving, Mira is sentenced to the pit, the deadliest prison in the Fallen Isles. There, a cruel guard would do anything to discover the secret she'd die to protect. No longer beholden to those who betrayed her, Mira must learn to survive on her own and unearth scorching truths about the Fallen Isles and herself before her very world collapses. <laughs> this is the Fallen oh, Isles no. trilogy. And it blazes with endangered magic, smoldering romance, and one girl's inner fire. That is awesome. So let's see if it fits in. Whoa! Laptop tried to run away. <laughs> yeah. Don't you just love these videos? Don't smell this book too, Oh, Ana, stop moving. All right. It doesn't fit in my book bow. Ah, it's too fat for the book bow. It's too fat. 
Okay, well, I have lots of other books. Let's get you up here. All right. And then, of course, there is the uh, signature, the letter. Oh, she has gorgeous handwriting. Look at that. And a little guide written by Jody Meadows, illustrated by Willow Dawson. And it's got the dragons. That is super, super duper cool. And next month is Find Me in the Forest. And there will be an exclusive candle from In the Wick of Time. So there is that beautiful card. And then what is this? Oh, it's a little magazine with stuff from Alcrate about what's in this box. That is really cool. That is really, really nifty. All right. Before I go, let's look at the Naked Hardback. It's black, and it's got a beautiful spine. All righty. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to reading this eventually. I've got uh, my weekends pretty much booked with cross country for the next forever. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to go. I haven't even attempted to take a book on the bus. Next week, we'll have a two hour one way trip, well, hour and a half one way trip. But my guess is I'll be talking and singing and making kids stick their hands back inside the windows constantly, and I won't get a chance to read anything then either. But we shall see. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm really excited about all this stuff. Um, looking forward to all of it, and uh, I hope that if you didn't get an Elk Crate, you will consider getting one because they're fabulous boxes. I'm really looking forward to using this bookmark. Uh, <laughs> We will see you again soon with another video. Until next time. Bye, bye, bye. I hope that you read something good, write something even better. Give a big thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new and do what now? Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Have a great day.